Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. So before I get into this video, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver, you want to make $20 to $30 an hour, and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description. Now let's get right into the video. The top five reasons to drive for Lyft in 2019. You know, we are heading into the new year, so I thought it'd be fitting, you know, but obviously you can start driving whenever, you know, you don't need to wait until 2019. So these reasons are going to be probably be different than any other videos you've seen. You know, this isn't just basic like, oh, make money, it's fun, easy, whatever. These are specific to 2019. So reason number one, automatic cars are coming soon. Having this job as a rideshare driver is not going to last forever. This might be some insider info. As some of you guys know, I go to school at UC Berkeley at a small conference. It was on artificial intelligence. A few speakers came from different companies and one of those speakers was Lyft. And during that conference, somebody asked that engineer, I think they were like head of engineering, and they asked him, oh, you know, what about automatic cars? She said, in five years, all of Lyft's rides are going to be driverless. So that was in 2016. I don't know how true that is. You know, it hasn't been confirmed or anything, but I do know that they are working hard. All these companies are racing to driverless vehicles. You have Google, Apple, Lyft, Uber, and Tesla as well, obviously. All right, number two is start the new year off right. It's a great way to make some extra money. You can start making 20 to $30 an hour. You can work part-time, you can work full-time. You wanna make an extra $20,000 per year, maybe an extra $30,000 per year. If you're currently making $40,000 at your job, you start driving for Lyft, you can turn that into a 60 or $70,000 salary. A great way to build wealth is to diversify your income. You know, maybe you're already making $60,000. You can drive for Lyft, you can make close to 100. For me, driving for Lyft is a great way to pay off debt. That was the reason why I first started driving. I had credit card debt and I had a uh, loan on my car. So I wanted to pay that off as quick as possible and Lyft helped me to do that, you know, just driving part time on top of my other job. Reason number three is that right now, you know, heading into 2019, the rideshare industry is bigger than ever. In my opinion, 2019 and 2020 will be the biggest years in the rideshare industry, and it's only going up. As I mentioned in a previous video, Lyft just filed for their IPO, entering into the public stock market next month in January. I don't know if you guys follow stocks, but that's huge. They're gonna be the first rideshare company to enter their IPO, and Uber is heading for their IPO as well. They're gonna be doing it next year. So right now in 2019, this is specific because Lyft and Uber, they're gonna start doing all these extra incentives for the driver, and we are already seeing that with Uber Pro, offering free tuition for the drivers. And Lyft is having these programs as well. They're going to start doing all these extra incentives, weekly bonuses. It's just going to be really great for their drivers heading into their IPO because they want to keep their stock price uh, very high. All right, reason number four, try something new. Maybe this is a little bit out of your comfort zone. Maybe you've thought about driving for Lyft. Maybe you just watch these Lyft videos and you, you know, you're considering being a driver. Uh, but try something new, you know. I've talked to a lot of people and you know, they say, oh, it's not really for me. I don't want passengers in my car. Trust me, that's the same way I thought. When I first started being a driver, I was like, I don't want to take people in my own personal car. After I started driving, it was literally like fun. I don't know. I, I, I looked forward to driving because, you know, you, you meet all these, you never know who you're going to meet. You might meet some really cool, interesting people. But if you drive during the day, it's super safe. I've never had any issues. I'd say just go out and go for it. Try something new. Maybe you're driving part-time and you want to increase your numbers. Why not make an extra $10,000 a year, $20,000 a year? Number five is meet new people. Driving for Lyft is a great way to meet new people, meet people in your own community, network with other people. For me, you know, it's a great way to network my YouTube channel. Maybe you're working on a business. So you can use Uber or Lyft as a way to advertise a business that you're working on on the side. Also for me, this just goes hand in hand with meeting new people. I love talking with people and I love learning. When you're talking and meeting all these different people, it's really a great way to develop your communication skills. I have developed my communication skills so much from driving for Lyft. I would have never just started having a random conversation with a stranger. It's kind of weird in our day and age to start, you know, where you're just sitting, I don't know, at a restaurant or at a cafe and you just start talking to somebody. Like, that doesn't really happen anymore. You know, everyone's on their phones. But when you have passengers coming to your car, it's kind of this unique experience where you get to share a moment with somebody for like five, 10 minutes, sometimes uh, like an hour, and you really get to learn stuff about people. It's like this weird networking experience that 
I, I, it doesn't really exist anywhere else. Sure, you might go to a networking event for like business leaders or like for your job, for your coworkers, but there's not really this whole space where like, you know, you're picking up somebody who's, you know, a big wig at some company or you're picking up somebody who works at a restaurant or you're picking up somebody who, who's also a driver. You know, you're just meeting all these cr different people and it, it's, it's, it's crazy. I think it's super amazing, super fun. And for me, you know, I'm like way more into just meeting random people now. You'll find me going up to random people, not, you know, not just like, you know, going, <laughs> okay, that sounded a little weird. But if I'm sitting next to somebody and I see a book that they're reading, I'll be like, oh, hey, that's a cool book. What, what's it about? You know, and you'd be surprised. People love talking. People love meeting you. Um, so, uh, guys, those are my five top five reasons, my personal top five reasons. You might have some other ones of being a Lyft driver in 2019. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any other reasons or any comments, suggestions, or concerns, you know, leave them in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver, go ahead and use my referral link in the description to sign up to get your sign-on bonus. Also, uh, we're still doing our giveaway. The giveaway lasts until... Uh, Sunday night if you want to enter for the 10 dash cam giveaway um, and free rideshare ride hub t-shirts. Wow, I really can't talk today. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.